Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel. It would help me out. And I hope you uh, find this video to be helpful. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at this one. You want to make a 10 pound mixture of almonds and peanuts that is worth $4.60 per pound. The almonds are worth $5 per pound and the peanuts are worth $3 per pound. How many pounds of almonds and peanuts should you use? Before we set this up, we're going to take a look at what we're comparing here. And the first of all, we have pounds, and then we have cost. Additionally, we're going to compare almonds and peanuts, all right? So we'll also throw in the total there. And uh, I'm going to define my variables this way. I'm going to say that x is almonds, and peanuts is going to be a y value. So when we set up the pounds, we don't know how many pounds of almonds we have. We don't know how many pounds of peanuts we have, but we know if we combine them together that we should end up with 10 pounds of the mix. And we can see that because it told us right here. All right. Next, we'll set up the equation for cost. And we know that the cost for the pounds of almonds is going to be five dollars per pound so if we multiply that by the number of pounds we'll have the total cost of the almonds but we'll add this to three dollars per pound for every pound of peanuts and then when we finish this off we should have four dollars and sixty cents per pound but that we're purchasing ten pounds of this so that'll end up being 46. So this gives us a nice little system of equations that we can solve. And you can use it, uh, use any method you want to solve this. You can use substitution, elimination, whatever method you want. But in this particular video, we're going to be doing, we're going to be solving this system of equations using substitution. So let's go ahead and figure out first what we want to substitute. And usually what we'll end up doing is substituting a y value because we're very familiar with slope-intercept form of a line. So if we take this first equation, the pounds equation, x plus y equals 10, we can very easily turn this or manipulate it into slope-intercept form. Let's see how to do that. All right, so on the top right, you can see the equation there, x plus y equals 10. And in order to turn this into slope-intercept form, I would subtract x from both sides, like this. And what that does is it cancels out these x's, leaving us with y equals 10, but now it's minus the x. This is very close to slope-intercept form. All we've got to do is change where the x and the 10 are. And uh, yes, we could say that there's a plus between those, which would give us or allow us to use the commutative property of addition giving us a negative x plus 10. Alright, and technically we didn't have to do that, but it's important for you to see that in slope-intercept form because if you were to solve this using graphing, which you could do, uh, you would want to see that in slope-intercept form so you'd know that the slope is a negative 1. <clears throat> Alright, now that we have this, uh, I'm going to show this in purple. I'm going to replace the y in purple in the cost. So let's look at the equation of the cost. All right, so the equation of the cost, I've written it here. And yes, I did give myself a lot of space here for the y so that now as I replace it, I should have I should have plenty of space to work with there. All right, now what we're going to do is solve for x, and once we've solved for x, we can solve for y very easily using the pounds equation. So, first thing we're going to want to do is distribute that 3. So now we'd have a negative 3x plus 30 right there. And nothing else has changed. And now what we'll want to do is combine like terms on the left, which are the x's. And that gives us 2x. And finally, to isolate the x's, we'll go and subtract 30 from both sides. And that gives us a 2x equals 16. Well, if we divide by 2 on both sides, we get x is equal to 8. 
So X, as we remember, was the pounds of almonds, so it would be 8 pounds of almonds. And what I can do now is I can either use the equation we started with, X plus Y equals 10, or I can use the equation I manipulated in order to find our X value, 8 pounds of almonds. And I'm going to go ahead and use that uh, one from slope-intercept form, and that way we can just replace the X and solve for Y immediately. So... Noticing here that I've replaced the x with this 8, so we have negative 8 plus 10, which equals 2. Now it's important for us to look back here again and see that y is the pounds of peanuts, so we should label this appropriately. And we have 2 pounds of peanuts. Now the final thing we would want to do here is check our answer, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not worried about that this time because we've done that in another video. So if you want to check and make sure that your answer is correct, you can just watch the rest of the video from the elimination technique. So that concludes this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's been helpful for you. Have a great day.